As members of a community show up in force today to send a message, hate crimes will not be tolerated. Someone scribbled swastikas and slurs on a local high school this weekend. Local 12's Adam Clement shows how parents, students, and teachers are all moving past it. I think this demonstrates that we as a collective community value our children, we value education, and we do not support hate. The message of solidarity was clear this morning outside of Withrow High School. You know, this is not our city. These are a few people who are hateful and, um, and we don't agree with their message. Parents, school administrators, and community leaders greeted students with applause, high fives, and donuts just two days after hateful graffiti was plastered all over the school's grounds. Crews spent much of Sunday scrubbing racial and homophobic slurs along with several swastikas. As a, a school bus came up with some little kids in it that were his age and I immediately just started crying. I couldn't stop myself because I couldn't imagine someone doing this to my own son. So the fact that there are moms who are afraid to send their kids to school today and there are children afraid to come to school, I mean, that it just breaks my heart. I, I can't imagine. Listen, I have a seven-year-old son. The idea that he would have to walk to school and see these kinds of symbols of hate when my wife and I are teaching inclusion and teaching the importance of diversity and, and teaching against the historic racism that those symbols represent uh, is, is outrageous. State Representative Alicia Reese has asked the Attorney General to get involved as Cincinnati police investigate who was behind the vandalism. Our students are safe. Our students are welcome. We will not be deterred from the act of learning. Uh, we'll continue with instruction. And again, we have tremendous community support. In Hyde Park, Adam Clements, Local 12 News. And late today, we obtained school surveillance video from police, which shows a person in a mask holding a can of spray paint. We will give you a first look at those pictures later in this broadcast.